welcome back to my channel this is what we are doing today we're going to oyo alafi yes this is a traditional soup i want to welcome our new subscribers i want to say thank you welcome to the family and to all our subscribers thanks for your continued support please don't forget to subscribe share the video yes i make okra a way do and chicken Mwah. my mom used to sell uh uh, okay, we have a little local shop that we sell when I was growing up, and I used to have her cook there when she go to uh, the upper meet in the club of people that sell food. So, and I would pretend that I'm eating too with burgery and make <laughs> some Molina. My dad used to send me to Akesa Market to get two for him. And these are the few of our products. Please don't forget to uh, visit our online store, the shower and bath oil. Is getting cold now please please I'm gonna put the link on information box and these are herbs over here we have about over 20 herbs for skin for hair for beauty I call it beauty herbs so if you want to start to make your own baguette let's get started we have a, a pre-peeled beans before it used to be this one right here it's a lot of job we have to soak it we have to do this but now things are better you just peel it and then we're going to need palm oil and the rest of the ingredient. I'm going to use a little bit of acid there just for the taste. Maggie cube. And I'm using a uh, grand pepper. No tomato, nothing. So, and this is the beans we are using today. Um, I measured for two cups. Normally I use this uh, play, uh, uh, bowl, the yellow one, but I measured it. I measured it's two cups. So, any uh, ingredients I use, make sure it is for two cups. You can use lower if you use uh, small or a little bit more if you cook more. And I've already put the water in the pot. It's a little, uh, it's not a little, it's, uh, it's hot. It's not boiling yet, but it's hot. And after that, because I'm using ground pepper, I'm going to start from that. Because you don't want to smell freshy ground pepper on your burgery so by the time everything's cooked it will be good i put it two tablespoons you can use less or more the rest of uh, ingredient is up to you how much you want spicy the palm oil because it's kind of cold actually that's the reason why i put a little bit more pepper so because it's a little bit cold but i use half a cup of palm oil and you have to be palm oil not a vegetable oil corn oil you have to be palm oil remember this is traditional <laughs> traditional soup so even though the one we buy in abroad is not really i don't think so because i use it on my face one time i'm talking about the palm oil is not pleasant i don't break up no matter what i use but i use palm oil is so anyway so after that, I'm going to add a little bit of Maggie. And I put a limestone on it. Come. So when you do that, make sure that you lower the gas. So that way when it's bubbling, it's not going to be everywhere. Because when you put a limestone on, on anything, it's going to really make it bubbling. But it's apt to soften the beans. Because this is where the fun start. It's going to take about an hour from here for the beans to... To really dissolve really good and in between i stir is stir it so that way and then i'm going to add more water into it and i'm just going to be stir it in between of the camera so make sure you do that and now because it's uh, about 30 minutes i turn the gas on for full speed so from here on, we are almost done. We just uh, wait and let the beans dissolve to make sure you can see now that uh, over here we are about, about, I would say about 90, 95% done. The beans is almost ready. And so I'm just going to, over here now, I'm just going to let it sit and then just stir it. Occasionally, you see now that we are at uh, the beans is totally, totally gone. I would say about 99.5 of the beans is gone. So by the time it's thickening, because it's kind of watery now, I want it to thicken. By the time it's thickening, it will be so it will be ready. The beans will be gone. 
And when you cook and you put it in the refrigerator, you want to warm it, rewarm it before you eat it. Make sure you add a little bit of tiny water because you know this is beans. It's just going to puff it up afterwards. So when you don't, even though if it's like a lumpy, do not put a lot of water or else you're going to wait again for it to thicken it back up. So that's the trick right there. So just put a little bit of water and you'll be done. And we're done with our bakery. Oh my God, look at that. It's kind of dark, getting darker by the time I finish it, but I still get a good um, picture of it. And after that, you can just eat it with your molar. If you want to pretend you're eating too like me, this is it right here. I make my semolina, put bakery on top of it, and this is it. Oh, your shiny le ala ah, ah. So this is it, my bakery. Um, Bam! It will do. <laughs> I get so happy. And this is it. It will be me real. I got be real. I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. And I hope uh, somebody will learn from me. And please don't forget to visit our online store. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please love you guys.